welcome back to the channel. Today we are at one of my favourite beaches in well, in North Wales. Obviously, there's some in the UK which are special, but this one it's just uh, it's like I got a perfect combination of sand and like really cool rock formations and uh, sea stacks. And there's a lot to choose from as well. It's quite a, probably an expanse of a kilometre to work with up and down the uh, the west coast on the Plymouth Peninsula. But really, it is beautiful. I'll, I'll stick a few images up what I've took here in the past. And we're going to get the sunset straight in front of us today. So it should be, uh, should be promising I mean, if we get a sunset. But it is a beautiful beach and hopefully... I'll show you a few pictures of what I get today and the techniques are used to get nice uh, seascape images. Let the video begin. just found the image I took last time I came here uh, and like I was saying before when you got the nice nice uh, water just sweeping around the rocks that are on the sand you get some nice texture and movement just flip you around here and then you'll see foreground rock but the water was like gushing around it and leading to the sea stacks in the distance there we had nice colour in the sky too Tonight I want to find something a bit different, but I just want to say about when, when you're photographing where well, waterfalls, anything with water, you just want to like really enhance its fluidity. Obviously water moves, it's got motion, it's got energy, so every time I'm photographing water I like it to come straight out of the frame, straight out of the camera, almost as if you're there. If it stops be just before, it kind of, you lose the impression of motion. It, it almost looks like, like telling the story that water just comes to a standstill. Water never comes to a standstill, it's always moving, unless it's ice. So yeah, that's what I want to capture today, just motion in the water around some nice rocks. And here is one of the best places to do it. Is this the one, yeah? yeah. saying some of these sea stacks on this beach are just really really dramatic and the good thing is a lot of them have got uh, just pure sand around them so if you get the right wave motion around the that around the rocks you can get nice minimal shots especially with the right light just this one here flip your arm this one being a good example there's a few more they're just very jagged and there's some just with nothing around them so it really is a good seascape location and if we get the right light it could be special today because it's, it's going to be a relatively high tide so it could be quite dramatic yeah definitely one of my favorite places
sunset is at about quarter past nine. High tide is quarter to ten. And it's a quite a high tide uh, tonight, what with it being a full moon. So it's going to be a case of shooting and retreating. We've got high steep cliffs behind us, but there is kind of weak points there which we can escape to. Trust me, all the good shots here are right on the beach, getting close to the action. That's where we want to be. Uh, worst case scenario, we'll have to go kind of halfway up the cliff and get the shots for sunset. Hoping we can be somewhere on the beach that's relatively safe and we're close to some of these amazing rock formations that just like literally come straight out of the sand because they are really impressive uh, and not being photographed much this area is insane around here so much to photograph but you really need the right conditions you need an incoming tide that isn't too incoming as well you can't actually photograph but enough to give you the drama so it's a fine balance we thought we had it today but it'll be touch and go oh and then you need the light as well and the right wave action so we don't ask for much tide is coming really fast now so whereas before we could just walk along the beach through the sea stacks in between the caves we're having to kind of scale up the cliff go back to the other side of the beach and come down just to uh get away from the the waves and the water because it's so deep it's coming so fast uh, so we're just going to go up here come back down the other side and try and look for compositions where there's a few rocks deeper into the beach where the uh, the tide hasn't quite found them yet. We've still got two hours till sunset, so I'm hoping we can get something still. <sighs> the joys of seascape. Looks like the tide's winning. It's coming so fast. And we've just been scaling the uh, cliff tops just to find the best, best composition from up here now. And the light's going as well. <laughs> we did find one nice viewpoint though with a load of like sea stacks uh, nicely assembled in the water from a high vantage point. So we'll look at them, maybe get a shot of that. Just hope the light comes back. If it does get to sunset and there is a distinct possibility we can get down to the beach and it's still not cut off and there's a safe way up, we might do it, but it all depends on the light too, yeah. At the moment, we lose it. It's got a lot moodier and a lot colder. So we've come down to the cliff edge and there's some really nice sea stacks. And we're just hoping the light comes. If the light comes and illuminates the scene, Backlit, backlights the uh, the waves and that hit the rocks. It'll be really nice. It's just we've probably got a twenty percent chance we will get a sunset. We're just hoping that it aligns. Anyway, it's nice up here. Gutted I can't go down there because it really is epic. There are all the rocks. It's getting a lot rougher as I speak. The waves are just crashing in. Uh, gutted I can't go down there though because that's why we come here. We come here to get down to the interesting rocks. Anyhow, make do with this, if it kicks off it could still be really special up here anyway. You'll find out eventually. I have the tiniest sliver of beach left in this whole area that I can be on. It's getting smaller and smaller as well, but I've come down here, the sky looks insane. It's just on that, the edge of it could kick off, it could go absolutely crazy, or it could be a complete fail. It's kind of at that stage, but I've come down here in position just in case. I've got to watch these waves, but uh, I've got to try and find something down here uh, and get close to the action as much as I can. Luke and Mike are just at the top shooting towards the cliffs. So if the light comes, I'll get really nice shots of that, that scene. Yeah, let's see what I can get here though. The waves are getting bigger and bigger. Just 
firing away now. The waves are coming in quite strong. When I said before, just about the motion. Just making sure the, uh, the wave action comes straight out of the frame. That's why I'm trying to get as close to them as I can. Just got a triangular rock in the foreground. You can just see there. Sorry if I'm shadow. What I might do is put it onto video just so you can see actually. Might get a better grasp. So you should be able to see the video here, just like the nice rock, pyramidal rock in the in the uh, background. The waves around it are nice, creating nice shapes. So the light kicks off. I'll get some good shots. Might not be able to vlog it, but I'll try and show you the images at least because it is pretty cool down here. I've still got a fair amount of beach too, so it's not coming too bad around here. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful evening. I think I've got a couple of really nice exposures. The rocks I had in the foreground, the big wave came in and it kind of separated. The furthest one and the, the nearest one, so it gave it a bit of depth. And the frame I had for the foreground was a really nice uh, wave motion. It was almost like a double layer and streak, so it looked really, really nice. So I'll probably blend those two exposures. And uh, it's probably, you're probably going to have one image in this. Uh, this vlog, but I'm glad I've got one because down here it has been stunning. I didn't think I'd get anything because we didn't get the light. I knew I'd get an image down here regardless of light. Up there you need the light. Uh, so I've come, come down here to get it. And it just illustrates the point from before. But just let the water come straight out of the frame. Just show the motion. The fluidity of the water and you get some really, uh, really unique images. I've got a, a half an eye on the waves, obviously. Just in case you wipe me out. Yeah. Might be one image, but I hope you enjoy it. Here it is. set not that we've seen any of it but we were so close it was just there was like a, a gap where the light was coming through but we just weren't in the right area for it but i still think i've got a fairly nice image quite a moody shot but yeah this beach uh tribe pendler there you go one of the best in north wales for seascapes you just need the right conditions everything if it's to be on the beach you need the right tide, the right light, the right sunset. Everything needs to kind of align. And when it does, you can get some really nice shots down there. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video. Until next time, 